Hey guys, welcome back to the web coding. So in this video, we are going to discuss our next question that is count inversions. So in this question, we have given an array. Okay. And these are some properties of the inversion count. What is the inversion count here? So inversion count is the count is how far the array is warm being sorted. If the array is sorted, then inversion count is zero. If the array is this, then its count is zero. And if the array is in reverse order, that is 4, 3, 2, 1, the inversion count is the maximum. Okay. So, where actually where inversion count is formed, inversion form, the two elements of array of i and array of j forms an inversion if, if array of i is greater than array of j and i is less than j now check let's check this is and this is i and this is j okay 0 1 2 and 3 so is array of i that means 4 is 4 is greater than 2 is 4 is greater than 2 yes it is then and again again one condition is i is less than j is i is less than j is zeroth index is less than second index yes it is so it condition also, this condition also true so both the conditions are true here so we can say that it is a inversion point and we need to calculate all the inversion point like this into this array now let's talk with the how to approach this question so firstly if we approach this question as uh, let's running or over uh, running a for loop over this and checking every 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 element on the next of this element and increasing the count so we are again and again reaching these elements so it will be cost us into o of n square time so we need to optimize this solution so we are using o of n log n for o of n log n we need to use merge sort here okay for merge sort so let's try the merge sort over this array so the merge sort is this is a low and this is a high so this is a low index and this is a high index yeah another will starting index and ending index okay starting index and ending index okay 0 comma 6 and the midpoint is midpoint is here is Okay, three. So two calls from here. First will will be for left, and second one will be the right. Left call is from low to mid, and uh, uh, the right call is from mid plus one to high or ending point, starting point, starting index or ending index. So the starting index is here is zero, and mid is three mid plus one that is four and ending index is six six index okay now again find mid here so the mid is uh, in this portion one and in this portion the mid point is five so again two calls from this point first one second one first one second one first one contains starting index and mid starting index will be 0 and mid will be 1 second index uh, second call contains mid plus 1 and ending index that is 1 plus 1 2 comma ending index is 3 for this starting index to mid 4 comma 5 mid plus 1 that is 6 comma 6 okay now again finding mid here so at this point mid is 0 at this point mid is 2 comma 3 mid is 2 at this point mid is 4 comma 5 mid is 4 again call two calls from these points okay first one will be starting index and mid mid plus 1 ending index starting index mid mid plus 1 and ending index starting index mid mid plus one and ending index so these are the calls and let's try to find and uh, let's try to find the inversion count 
and sort the array as well so it returns us the zeroth element in the array because the low and high is zero so zeroth element in the array is 8 it returns 8 this from this point it returns 5 now at this point we are checking that is checking that is array of i is greater than that means uh, left of i is greater than right of i uh, sorry j if this condition is true then we found one inversion count here is 8 is greater than 5 yes we uh, 8 is greater than 5 so first pair that we got as an inversion count is 8 comma 5 and our count is now from 0 to 1 now 0 plus 1 okay now at this point we need to also merge this also in the sorted order so merge this in sorted order okay now we are at this point 2 comma 2 return us 3 and 3 comma 3 return us 3 comma 3 return us 4 now at this point we are again checking that is left of i is greater than right of j is 3 is greater than 4 no it is not 4 then only here merge this with in sorted order and return it from this now at this point at this point we have 5 comma 8 and 3 comma 4 3 comma 4 at this first array we have i and this second array we have j okay now again we need to check these conditions and we need to also sort this array now at the first position position is 5 is greater than 8 okay just give a minute is let's write this condition here is left of i is greater than r of j right of j is this condition is 5 is greater than 3 yes 5 is greater than 3 so we have another pair that is 5 plus 3 because of this is in sorted order why we are sorting from top to bottom here in this tree we are sorting from top to bottom here so we have the sorted array if 5 is pairing with 3 if 5 is found inversion with 3 then 8 can be also found why because 5 5's next elements all the next elements are the greater than 5 so 8 can also be find the pair with 3 so we can we have to write 8 comma 3 here so we have two counts here now check the elements compare them with the uh, which, which is the smaller then write this into this array so this is the smaller element update the j here now let's check again is 5 is greater than 4 yes it is greater than 4 so it uh, again find two pairs that is 5 comma 4 and second one will be the 8 comma 4 again plus 2 now we have the array okay plus 2 plus 2 and now checking again which you are the smaller element add this into uh, this array and update the index now this array is not uh, available though update these two into this so we got the first half sorted array that is three four five eight okay this is in sorted order now let's do the dry run over for this four comma four returns us one and the five comma five return us six okay at this point again is uh is 1 is greater than 6 this left and this is right is 1 is greater than 6 no it is not then we are just updating our merged array okay now from this point we got 2 from this point we got 2 let's change the color from this point we got 2 so we have left array as 1 comma 6 and the right array as 2 so i is here j is here and one array that we need to sort it okay one array the blank array now checking that it's array of i left of i is greater than right of j no it is not then up whichever the small is written here and update the index of this now at this point 
is 6 is greater than 2 yes 6 is greater than 2 again write this uh, here and update the count by 1 and whichever the smaller element update this now update the j also and remaining element write write down that element now the half half sorted from the second half we got two sorted array list now at this point at this point this point we are returning from here and now at this point we have two array list two arrays three five uh, three four five eight and second array is one two and six i is here j is here we need to sort all the elements here now if array of if uh, let's give me a second if array of left of i is 3 is greater than right of j is 3 is greater than 1 yes it is so it can find one pair for this and three pairs for next next elements why because it is in sorted order so because of it is sorted order it finds inversions with all the elements if that is 3 comma 1 4 comma 1 5 comma 1 and last 8 comma 1 it found four inversion counts here okay now whichever the smaller element update this with this and update the j now checking that is 3 is greater than 2 is 3 is greater than 2 yes 3 is greater than 2 now update this and making a pair of 3 comma 2 4 comma 2 5 comma 2 and 8 comma 2 so again uh, it find four counts of inversion now whichever the smaller element uh, push this into this and update the pointer of that now whichever the smaller and checking that is 3 is greater than 6 no so whichever the smaller element update this and update the i now again checking that now again adding that again checking that i is here again adding that now i at this point now 8 is greater than 6 again it it is finding one pair with 6 it is find one pair with 6 so this is our final see this is our final count so whichever the smaller just update this so this is a sorted order now i hope your my recommendation is to pause the video here and code by yourself and now i assume that you are paused the video and code it now let's start with the solution solution means code okay so let's write the code for first let's take input fast scanner sc sc equals to new scanner system dot in okay int n so we are taking n from user sc dot next int int array new int n size n size array filling this array taking as an input from user i is less than n and i plus plus okay now array of i is equals to sc dot next int okay next int now we need to call the merge sort it gives us the count of the inversion now merge sort merge r g e merge sort it contains uh, we are passing the array we are providing the array on this lower pointer and higher pointer okay and at the last we need to print the count so we need to make the global static variable of for the count so for the count c o u n t okay. let's make the static variable static int count equals to zero okay now we need to make the merge sort for the, for the merge sort public public static it contains array list so merge sort it contains uh, sorry let me do a full screen first 
so it contains array array lower point and higher point okay so for the merge sort first we need to calculate the midpoint first we need to calculate midpoint that is low plus high divided by 2 okay and we need to call first call what is the first call of the of this what is the first call first call is the starting index to mid and the second call is from mid plus 1 to ending index so here left call is equals to merge sort array comma lower point to mid okay and next will be int right merge sort merge sort array of mid plus 1 to ending point that is high okay and finally uh, we need to sort this also so for sorting we are using merged merged that is uh, we need to make the again one function for this merged to sorted we need to sort this also okay so merged merged to sorted array okay it will contain left and right array now we need to return the merged here merged okay if here in the base case of the merge sort is if low is equals to high we are returning array of low okay so every top position low is equals to high low is equals to high low is equals to high and we are returning though array of low yeah or array of high if low is equals to equals to high then return making an uh, one array new int of one size adding that uh, let's make this as a base answer base answer okay so the base answer of zero it contains array of low okay and return this base answer okay base answer now we need to make this function okay public static int array list sorry array so it will be uh, stored into the integer array so we are making that is a integer we are providing this as a left array and as a right array okay now first thing so for finding for merging two sorted arrays we need three pointers first one will be the i it is at and zero second is j it is at and zero and third one will be the k it is also at and zero zero point so it will operate the left array it will operates the right array ht and it will operates the final array final array that is a merged array okay now we need to check the condition if i is left dot uh, length and at j should be less than right dot length okay this two condition if the uh, if this condition is true if these two conditions are true then do the operations first operation what will we do we do, uh, need to do so first we need to do here merged new int we are making the array of the size left left dot length plus right dot length we are making the merge uh, one sort merge uh, sorry one array to to contain the sorted okay if left left of i is less than right of j if this condition is true then merge of k contains left of left of i okay and update the i and k as well now the second condition 
so the main condition is this okay let's uh, type here that is second condition if if the area of left of i is greater than r of j that means left of i now we are first using that first condition we are doing that it is left of i is less than right of j this condition now we are operating this condition if this condition happens then we need to calculate the count what is the count if this element is ready to pair with this if is this element is ready to pair with this then all the elements from its uh, right is also uh, pairing with this because it is in sorted order so at this point i is 0 so we can cal calculate the count as plus equals to this array size l dot size l dot length l dot length minus i from this point l dot size is 4 4 minus 0 equals to 4 so from this point we have four counts four pairs from this point we have again four pairs sorry uh from this point with two again four pairs now our count formula is count plus equals to left left dot length minus i so this is a formula to calculate the inversions count okay so adding the merge of k equals to right of j okay update the j here k here also now if if now we are running a loop over this okay over this point that means uh, if the array size is this first array size is this okay and the second array size is this then we are, now we are running the loop or i should be left uh, le less than left dot length and and j should be less than right dot length what does that mean left dot length and right dot length so it should it is only run until and unless j's value is 2 or i's value is 2 at this point this array is left from uh, this these points are in the while, running in the while loop but this point so we need to take care of that also so while i is less than left dot length and and j is less than sorry i is le less than left dot length just copy this and paste it here now rearrange this with shift tab now again it is possible for j also j is less than right dot length for this copy this and paste it here copy this paste it here and again rearrange it rearrange it okay now after this we need to return our merged array okay so this is the code for this let's try to run it so rejected let's scanner expected scanner sc equals to equals to new scanner let's try to run it again new scanner variable system so spelling mistakes compiler error so successful for this input we have three output let's try to submit it so submitted i have uh, let's first so all the all the code are same for the merge list merge sorted list merge to sorted list only change is this line this line calculate the count of inter in inversions okay this line only one line calculate the count of inversions here so this line gives us count so let's try to run again let's try to dry run of this count 3 4 5 8 this is the first array second array 1 2 6 
if this array this element is greater than this then we are calculating the count is if this is uh, pair with this this pair with this this pair with this, this because this array is sorted so left dot length minus i i is zero at this point so this is the dry run of this code now i hope you understand the question and the answer of this question thank you for watching